Hi, my name is Althea Watson, and I am currently a resident of Evanston, Illinois, which is north of Chicago. So and I'm here to talk about my NDEs. And my first one happened when I, I was before I was seven years old, I was very small. And um, it, I can't really talk about the situation. It's still an open case and there are people still recovering from it after all these years. Um, so, it, you know, it was violent. It was a crime scene and it involved other people and more people are still healing in it. So it was pretty awful. And what happened to me was I died during this and I had been in a point of just absolute terror and not understanding what was happening, what was going on. And it, it was just violent and I, I died. And I, when I was out of my body, I remember just pausing for a moment. It was like, I was disoriented. I knew something uh, tremendous had happened and there had been a shift, but I didn't know that I wasn't alive anymore. And I didn't know I was out of body, but I knew that I was kind of looking at my body. I just didn't, I couldn't connect the dots. You know, when things happen so fast and you don't have a big vocabulary or a lot of understanding, because I was like, I was a child, you know, I wasn't seven years old yet. There's a, a whole lot of life that you just can't define and because you've never experienced it. but. All of a sudden, I felt just like almost like a vacuum cleaner takes, you know, sucks up the 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 dirt from the floor. Except I'm not dirt from the floor, but the uh, it's that energy. I was pulled. That's better. I was pulled into what seemed to be very dark, but suddenly was very bright light, and it was a tunnel, and uh, it was like seconds. It happened so fast and I ended up being in this place that was kind of dim at first and as I acclimated the lights started coming up it started to get brighter and I was just immersed in the most deepest spiritual love it you know I that has stayed with me ever since that moment. And I have been able to call that up in me as we all can. Um, but it, it was just, oh, I, it's, you, you can't say anything. You can't speak. It's just this overwhelming love and it's not sexual. It's not about sex. It's not about being male. It's not about being female. It is just spiritual love and as i felt this around me and felt just it being me i recognized that i didn't have a body and that i was energy and that as things got brighter as i started to um take in and accept where i was i think that's why i got everything got brighter and more defined what I saw was the most magnificence of colors. I had never seen certain colors and I used to love to draw and crayon and paint. And so I was, a part of the attraction was the, the colors, you know, um, how many ways you can draw a line. You know, it was just so fascinating to me. And all of a sudden it's like, everything has movement. Everything is in motion and everything has a sound to it. And it was not like big, loud music. It was all very subtle, um, but everything was resonating. And I had someone speak to me without seeing them. The only thing I saw there, aside from colors and the music, I mean, I did see a lot of different things, but in that moment, who was talking to me was this bright golden light. Everything came from this light. It wasn't a person. I wasn't a person. We don't have bodies anymore. We are our, our spirit, which is what we came from. 
you know, we're visiting the earth in a human body, but we are spirit. And what that spirit is, is love. And really what I found out was that the only truth there is, is this existence of this love. And that we come to the earth plan for spiritual lessons. And I was raised as a Christian. So this actually didn't hit me uh, as uh, an idea or a truth for years to come, but uh, they started talking about reincarnation and how important reincarnation is. And I <laughs> was like, what? What is that? And there were concepts that I couldn't understand because they were beyond my understanding. And yet, while I was there, I had this acquired wisdom that allowed me to understand what reincarnation is and what it's about and why it's important. I mean, I got a whole lecture on that. What we are, what happened was I was this energetic vibration, but then there were other energetic threads that joined me. And one was this so there were like basically three threads. My spirit, another resonating thread was all the lives that I had lived. There is what's called the Akashic, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, the Akashic Records. And that's where every life and every action, every word, everything we've done is kept. And that is when you're on the other side, it comes, it can come to you. And so you can start to see where you've come from because we choose certain activities to go through when we incarnate this is what i was being told by this the magnificence of this deep love and this light which to me i believe is god and is jesus part of my belief yes it is i am a spiritualist christian so there we go <laughs> and so that's what I look at this light as, is either the Christ or, or God, the creator of everything. We come in, we come in with a plan. We have free will. And so it's like the statement of the angels are silent. Our guides are silent when we're taking the test. It's like I was telepathically speaking, I believe, with God. After I came back from this experience, I was speaking to what's considered a higher self or my spiritual guides. And I was introduced to them while I was on the other side during this, this time, this period of uh, being dead, um, but still alive, more alive than ever, really. Um, and so this thread ha contained all of this information from these past lives. And in looking at some of the choices I made, I had, you go through a life, what's called a life review, where you look at how you've responded to people, what you've said, what you've done. It's not judging. It's not you're guilty of this, you're guilty of that. It's to understand the what spirit is and to understand the choices that we have through our mind, through the ego, when we think in a particular way. And so I was shown why there are people that are violent to children. I was shown why there is bullying. I was shown why people are cruel to others. And this was given to me to help me get through my childhood but also for information for other people. It's that not everyone is kind because they don't know how to be. Not everyone bullies another person. Generally, a person who cares about themselves, has self-respect, has self-love, treats others with the same gentleness that they treat themselves. Our approach to everything is similar. You can look at who you are, one rep repeated action, one moment, and you can find the trait of how you respond, how you talk, the words you choose in different scenarios 
through every day, every week, every month, every year, because of how you think. And often it's because of how we think unconsciously. So part of our lessons here is, is to embrace our choices of words and actions so we can look at them and go, would you want someone to treat you this way? Was this kind? Was this honest? Was this ethical? Was this just? And you see that often people have a perspective that keeps them from ever being able to be kind. It was absolutely astonishing to me that, that this was a way to look at human spirit and understand how people talk and their actions and their beliefs. We, and I was also told that we incarnate as a tribe. We, but we don't, we don't incarnate with everyone that's in the tribe. We will come with like a portion. Let's say you've got a hundred percent of, of spirit in a circle. You might get 45% or 30% or 10 or five or, or 75% incarnating with you. You're not going to go with everybody. Some people stay on the other side. That's their choice. Um, and what happens is you don't always meet them. But sometimes if you see someone and you're just passing on the street or you see them in a television show or in a commercial or a movie or you just sense them and you feel them, but they're not there in person, you're sensing someone it's a part of your tribe that is on the earth plane with you, but you might not ever meet them, but you're going to be affected by them. And I was like, what does that mean? And it's like, well, have you ever had the situation where all of a sudden you feel something just lift from your body, from your, your aura, from your, the energy around your body, and you feel different, you walk differently. All of a sudden you think differently or you go, gee, someone forgave me for something or someone is sending me love for something. This can be the experience of the collective of the tribe when they have learned something as a collective. And so the vibration of this whole entire tribe will change. Even the people in spirit that are on the other side and not on earth go through this resonance. They go through this change because we are ultimately all the same people. When I came back to the earth plane, I, um, and how I got back, it was all of a sudden very abrupt. I was told you can stay here if you want, or you can go back. And in that moment, I remembered my dog and I remembered my mother. And I said, I miss my mommy and I miss my dog. And bam, like, like a snap, I was back in my body and back on the earth plane. So I think I came back because I had those attachments. I had that desire. I had that love. I had that um, support and recognition of existence. And I just hadn't played it out. So I came back. And what I came back with, and this is what a lot of people say from their near-death experience, is that they are they come back and they are telepathic. They are clear audience, which is clear hearing, and you can hear. And so I started, I also started seeing out-of-body spirit on the earth plane. And I remember saying to two kids that I went to grade school with, I saw God and I, I talked to de some dead people. Well, that was the end of my friendship with them. I mean, it was just, and then I realized, wow, I was like, oh no, I'm just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. And they were like, bad joke. You know, it, it isn't anything that you can talk about because people don't understand it. I soon learned that I spent more time talking with out of body spirit and guidance than I did with people on the earth plane. And I, I, um, I just had to accept that, you know, I was terribly bullied. I was, I was ostracized. I, 
you know, my comfort was in the spiritual world. And I started meditating and I started praying to God and to Jesus and to my higher self and to my soul. And I said, I am choosing to grow beyond my fears. I choose to rise above this. I choose to grow. I choose to know the truth. I choose to honor my spirit. I choose to embrace the love. 